Oh, what is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster. Welcome, welcome back to some more of the original Resident Evil, or rather, our Resident Evil HD remaster. It feels like it's been a very long time since we have last played this game, but uh, in reality, it hasn't been that long, actually. <laughs> It's only been a week, but it feels like much longer. Um, one quick thing I need to do here. Um, I have obviously a new key so I can get a lot better access to places all around. Um, and I need to find another, let's see, I'm gonna take this out. I need to find another uh, 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 like little key. I forget what they're actually called, but it's the kind of crappy keys. Um, that way I can get the shotgun, because as we know, I reloaded a save, or rather died, and... Oh my gosh! Oh, okay, I forgot about you! No! Okay, this is... What is going on? Oh my god! Yikes. <laughs> oh wait, no, what? <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh, not taking any chances. Chief and a luck. Oh my gosh, Chris, move! Great start. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful start. <laughs> okay, move. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel like I should reload the save. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> Let me do that again. <laughs> Resident Evil. <laughs> what a great start. What a great start, everybody. <clears throat> Fight your fears and survive. I'll do my best. I will <laughs> do my best. Okay, let's do this again. So, that's something new that I've learned. Um, is that you need to burn the zombies. So we can we gonna do that. I'm gonna keep a canteen on me at this point. So I can burn some of these bad boys. Uh let's pull this back up. Do I I think that uses 14, does it not? Or uh, 15 is what I meant. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh! Oh, okay, I got fuel right here. I didn't I don't know why I just didn't notice that. Okay, we're immediately gonna shoot as soon as we come out of here. <laughs> also, hello. Welcome. If you haven't seen any of the other videos yet in the series, Ooh, go back and watch them. Ooh. Okay, he's still alive. Okay. Okay, he's done for. He's done for. Quickly. <laughs> Use the kerosene. Hurry. <laughs> Okay, that was significantly better. Significantly better. Let's use this one. Light you on fire. Bye-bye. See you later. Okay, cool. While he burns up, let's go ahead and combine this. Gosh, so it takes 10 shots. That's insane. Well, now I know. Now I know uh, to burn these zombies. Um, I, I, I think I mentioned it in the last video. I read it, but I didn't know how to do it. It totally makes sense that there's obviously these gas canisters in a canteen. About half the kerosene still remains. Refill your canteen? Yes, please. You refilled your canteen with kerosene. Awesome. So now we can go back out. We don't have to worry about the these super zombies in here, which has just been insane. Oh, look, and they're, they're permanently gone. Nice. Okay. So really now, at this point, it is time to go explore the map for any of these locked doors. Uh... I'm gonna go behind me. 
first, since this leads to almost all new areas, like this door. You use the armor key. Okay, so this one's now unlocked. I feel like I would rather just run around and see what I can unlock first. But that's probably going to take way too much time. So... Let's try to figure out the right strategy for it. Oh, okay. Control scheme is wild. Locked. Helmet. Okay. So there's the helmet door. Okay, we still have all these herbies just chilling out over here. Little herby herbs. But we're not going to bother with these yet. Okay. I mean, I guess I could just go each region at a time. So let's go in here first. See what's around. Now I gotta remember which rooms have kerosene. I like the music, I guess. <laughs> okay, so this door is available. Let's kind of inspect. There's a large scratch in this wall. Doesn't look like the work of those rotting freaks. Uh oh. Is there a big beast out here? Big beastie? It's locked. It's an old-fashioned lock that's rather simple in mechanism. Okay, so another easy lock. Um, I'm kind of scared to go in here, but let's do it. Wish me luck. There might be a giant monster of some kind. Okay, what's this? Oh, old key. Not yet. I want to see what else is in this room. Like, what is this? Oh, okay. No, not yet as well. Okay, good stuff here. There's nothing in the drawers or on the shelves. These footprints look like they're headed straight through the bed. Oh, the bed will move, huh? Okay, that's the old-fashioned key. More ink ribbon. Uh, don't need to carry that yet. Okay, so there's some decent goods over here. What's this? Oh, green herb. No, I'm okay. All right. Not bad stuff in here. I guess I'll take the old-fashioned key. Yoink. Will you take the old key? Yes, please. And then we can use the old key. Oh, gosh. Where was it again? Uh, it's downstairs. Ah, dang it. I keep pressing the wrong button. Downstairs on the first floor. I think right here. Yeah, it's like one of these rooms. It may be this one, actually, on the actual second floor. Um, yeah, and that'll give us the broken shotgun, at which point we can get the new shotgun. So let's, uh, I guess we can go do that right now. I like the music in there, that was cool. Very mysterious overall. Okay, so what is the easiest way to get all the way back now? Um, I guess we can take these upper floors. Yeah, and on our way back, hopefully we don't run into the, I think they were called something head zombies. I'm going to call, I'm going to call them the redhead zombies. <laughs> I don't know the actual name. Um, hopefully we don't run into more of those redhead zombies because I did not realize that was a condition of taking care of this. Was to take them out. Like permanently. <laughs> Use the armor key. Okay, that seems like a very dangerous door to go into. Let's check it out. Let's just check it out. This seems very nefarious, but it's, it's the way to go, apparently. It's the way to go. Uh, what? Um, the Sleeping Knight. They're going to attack me, aren't they? The Sleeping Knight. Woe to those who disturb my sleep. There's a switch here. Press it. Uh, no! <laughs> huh. Sleeping Knight and... The sleeping night. Okay. There's something in the depression. But the grate is in the way and you can't reach it. Okay. Oh. Oh, 
you can move them. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So this is a movement puzzle. I'll take care of this at a later point. I want to unlock all the doors that I can first and see what's inside of them. Because uh, obviously I don't want to die here after a recent very successful mission fighting a few hyper zombies. The redhead zombies. Use the armor key. Okay. So that's a whole new section of this map now. Gotcha. 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 Okay. Okay, let's let's enter. <laughs> if anything, I can always immediately leave if it's madness. Okay. Oh, oh. You. Hi. This Redfield Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard, what the hell happened to you? I didn't expect this. Chris, this place. Get your team out of here. Demons everywhere. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. Not an ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. Oh, am I gonna have to be timed here? Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. I mean, that's exactly where I was trying to go. Um, so that's cool, I guess. Okay, I'm not timed though, so that's nice. <laughs> But she's, uh, what is that, Rebecca from RE0? Right? So that's cool. Good to see her again. I think <laughs> I'm like heavily second guessing myself right now, thinking I'm saying something really dumb. Uh, okay, what's the easiest way? Probably just going through here. So I think I'm gonna use the old key first. Just so it's out of my inventory. Oh, I never knocked you down. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, because I died after I I did this whole thing. Let's get you up and over, and then we'll knock you. No, 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 no. Come on, Chris. <laughs> we'll push you over. Yay! All right, we got a new crystal. Um, I killed a zombie up here before, remember? Right? Where is it, Spotty? I need to burn it. <laughs> Wherever it is. But I guess it's not even around. So, check our map. Which door should we go through? Uh, left door. Okay, I did kill zombies up here. Hopefully they didn't turn into the, the massive, super hyper zombies. I'm changing their name every single time. What? Oh wait, no, I didn't mean to. That was a mistake. Open that back up. Okay. No. No. Move. Okay. 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 Quickly. Use the canteen. <laughs> Get out of there. Get out of there, Chris. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and combine. Oh man, I'm running out of ammo quick. Excuse me. Hey, at least he's slow. <laughs> Alright, I'm ignoring you. We've already determined this. It's locked. Emblem helmet. Oh, okay. Um, well, shoot, where was... I guess it was downstairs, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm definitely burning you. 
Use it. It's not necessary. To be more on top of your body? Okay, there we go, there we go. Light him up, light him up. Okay, Zomboy is burning. And then, where is... I think it's over here, then. The extra door that needs... Yeah, it's this one, right? You might be able to unlock it using an old key. Use the old key, yes! Use the old key. Perfect, go inside. I don't recall there being any actual zombies in here, but I think I have extra refills for my canteen. Yes, okay, new defensive. Will you take the flash grenade? Yes. Take that broken shotgun. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> okay, fill this up. Still plenty of kerosene left. Refilled your canteen. Yep. You refilled it with kerosene, and about half still remains. Okay, cool. And then was there anything else in here? Oh, ink ribbon. Nice. Sweet. Okay, so that was a good, good ch general chunk of things. So let's open this up, go into that safe room, drop off the broken shotgun, we'll get the serum, um, and also do a quick save here as well. Now, where is the zombie? It's floating around here somewhere. <laughs> we'll ignore him for now. We'll just do a full ignore. I'm, I'm really happy with the progress that we're making in this, though, so far. This has been, uh, it's been very fun to get through. Okay, switch items, yes. So drop off this bad boy, because I need to exchange it for a better one. And then where is the serum that was left over? Ah, serum, yes, please. That was easy. <laughs> ah, dang it, that's not what I needed to do, actually. Uh, let's put away the kerosene. Take the ink ribbon. I'm gonna do a save here, since we've gotten some actual Pretty good progress of defeating zombies and not getting hurt. Use the ink ribbon. Thank you, thank you. Let's do number five. Save successful. Cool. No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> All right, back here. Let's go ahead and drop this off. Actually, exchange it with the fuel canteen. Perfect. That should be good. Hopefully I can ignore the zombie. I really hope so. That would be nice. I don't want to have to fight you. But is there another way around? No, it doesn't look like it. But also, I should have checked. Can I open this door now? Yeah. Okay, sweet. Should I, should I go in here? Check it out and all? It's a whole new area. Might lead to over here. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, it's open the door. No, I don't think there's a timer for the serum. Hopefully not. I saved it. I saved it. So we can die and it should be fine. Ooh, I'll take another one of those. Sure. Yeah. Tanks. <laughs> ah, ooh. Okay, opened up a lot of stuff over here. I'll come back. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna drop off this serum first. I'm gonna do the, the right thing, the good thing, and help out our fellow team members here. <laughs> Let's just see if I can get through Zombie. Hey, yo, Zombie! Okay, he's right here at the top. Lovely. Can I go around? Is that easier? Or are there going to be hyper zombies out here? Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> no, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, it's, it's not trying to lock onto anyone. Is this the right way? Ah, dang it, it's the wrong way. <laughs> This way and this, this. <gasps> no, I was trying to burn you. Ooh, oh, it's a good headshot. Oh my gosh, that was that was perfect. <laughs> Can I unlock you? 
locked from the other side. Okay, that's fair. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting pretty lucky with some of these. Wait a second, is there a secret entrance right here? No, no, it would be on this wall. No, it would be on this. Oh, I see, I see. I'm I'm dumb. <laughs> It's okay, roast me in the comments, I don't mind. <laughs> Just didn't understand the map for a second there. Okay, let's get back to Rebecca Cham Chambers. And save the team! Big snake, though? We'll see how this goes. Okay, what's the easiest way back? Just straight back this way, I'm assuming? Check that map. Yeah. Wait, which room are they in? They're the one on the right, immediately going in and on the right. Okay, we got it. We got it all figured out. There's a lot of map checking in this. So on the right means, yeah, right here. All right, let's get them all healed up, hopefully. I mean, I'm sure this will turn into a, like a bigger fight of some kind. Maybe a boss. I'm sorry. Where did they go? Hi, friendo. I'm not necessary to use this now. What? Oh, I have to press F. Gotcha. Don't tell me he's dead. Wait, he's dead? Richard is already dead. If only you'd gotten that serum in time. Are you kidding me? Uh, ha, ha, ha. Oh. There was a timer. Do I go back in time? Yeah, let's let's go back. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. We know what to do now. We know what to do. In the darkness lies your fears. Resident Evil. Okay, we're moving fast now. We're moving fast. Okay, I'm just going to sprint back. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not even going to bother getting the kerosene. We're just going to run out of here. <laughs> I'm going to ignore this zombie. If anything, I'll let him attack me. Go, speedy, go, go, speedy, go. No, don't use it. Okay, that was dumb. That was really dumb. It didn't even blow up. <laughs> oh, man. I swear, am I gonna... Go, go, Chris, go. Am I going to have to restart from my very first save point just to save him. I'm going to be real upset if I do. It's not going to be a fun time. It's not going to be a fun time. I'm doing this for my team. <laughs> okay, I know exactly where to go now. Ooh, come on. Go faster. Problem is I took too much time getting to the save room. Because I got the broken shotgun and all those other things. Like an absolute dummy. Quickly. Please, please be alive. That would be fantastic. No. No! Oh! <laughs> Am I gonna have to start from the beginning? I've been playing for 25 minutes already. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I have to do it. I have to do it. I have to save him. I have to save him. Load successful. In the darkness lies your fears. I know. I know. That's where my fears lie. 
Okay, let's just jump over here. Let's replace all of the things. Just do this really quickly. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh I just realized what I did. I mean, I can always go back again. It's frustrating. <laughs> Combine with you. Take care of this immediate zombie threat. Okay. We're just, what we're gonna do is basically a speed run to get back to exactly where we were. Oh, wow, he's hit fast. Move! Ooh! Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm in caution now. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's burn these both. Please and thank you. <laughs> Use it. Burn you. I'm gonna burn you. I'm gonna refill it. And then I'm just gonna run straight to the areas that I need to go. Oh, watch out, Chris. Okay, let the burn finish. What does this say again? Is this new? I left some bullets in the room on the right. I'll go ahead and look for a way out. Wesker, ah, okay. That's why there was a bunch of ammo and stuff in here when I got back into this room. I was trying to figure out why that was, why that was happening. Okay, grab this now. Half the kerosene, refill, yep. You refilled your canteen with kerosene. All right, super speed run, let's go. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna worry about anything else. Actually, here let's let's revisit. <laughs> I don't think there were zombies, new zombies in these. No, no, there weren't. Okay, go in here. <laughs> and this had what did this have again? This had the old rusty key. Yes, that's actually what I want. Perfect. Let's grab it. Will you take the old key? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Do the thing. Please and thank you. And I think just to make this even easier to run back and forth, I am going to put this into the container downstairs. Because then I can transfer it when I'm in the room where we get the serum to easily use it on the door that's in that section. I hope this makes sense. I hope this makes sense for everybody. We gotta kind of reconfigure our strategy just a little bit as we're going throughout to save our teammate. Put that there. So I wonder, what is the difference between the first aid kit, or first aid, first aid spray and the first aid kit? Seems like there is some major difference between those. I'm sure one is a complete and full heal, but I'm pretty sure the first aid spray was already a full, full healy heal for us. Okay, let's make sure I'm still going the right way. Pull up the map. Awesome. So let's go into here. Scratchy, scratchy. <laughs> scratchy, scratchy. And I'm gonna go into this room first and unlock it. So that way it triggers the event, and I'm not gonna go to Rebecca and team member, I already forgot his name, um, until I've made a clear path heading over to where I need to go. I think that's gonna be the best path forward because again, there was a redhead zombie that was very aggressive as we went into that area, um, hoping that I can just take them out ASAP. I got really lucky with that headshot, uh, so we'll see if I can <laughs> accomplish that again going into that section. So out here, so our our run is going to be cleared out by going this way through the double doors. And then I believe it is the furthest door away from here. Oh, I got to drop the ruby <laughs> statue again. A lot of doubling up, a lot of doubling up here. So, to be clear, we're going to go to this one to clear our path. There's going to be a aggro zombie. 
Let's take care of them right now. No! Okay, go. Still alive. Dead. Perfect. Light him on fire. Use. Go! Okay, let's combine. Okay, and hopefully now that zombie will break out. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he did break out. Awesome. Let's use this on you. So you don't come back either. Okay, this is perfect. This is actually exactly what I wanted to happen. Now I need to go in here. Stressing me out. Stressing me out. Okay. <laughs> you know here. I'm right here. Let's let's just take care of this. Take care of all steps first. I need to refill my kerosene as well so I can burn the zombie that's right in front of this door. Because uh, I really hope he doesn't come back to life. I have a feeling he will if we get this serum first and don't do anything else. So come over here. <laughs> Come over here. Go into here. You might be unlock with old key. Use the old key. Yes, please. Get in there. Open the door. Grab the kerosene. Grab the broken shotgun. It should be good to go. We'll save uh, at least once. Oh, that's right. We can get the. That's not old furniture. That is a flash grenade. <laughs> broken shotgun. Yes, please. And now we can refill our kerosene. Yes. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> it's so complicated. <laughs> but it was quick, very quick return to where we just were. So that's what's good about this game. You can constantly kind of rework your strategy. And I mean, this is the beauty of uh, games like this, like the Resident Evil series that allow you to really kind of do the whole movement back and forth and to eventually do like challenge runs and speed runs essentially, which are always pretty fun. Okay. Oh, that was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> okay, that's the best possible scenario that could have happened. Okay, now. <laughs> so insane. Now, I'm gonna save it here. Wait, I. Did not burn you? That's weird. Okay. Well, let's burn this zombie. Oh, no, no, I don't have to because he is a headshot on him, right? I think headshots are, are sufficient to make sure they don't come back. Oh, oh okay. Well, who knows? <laughs> He's dead now. <laughs> He's a crispy zombie. Back and around. Back through the door. I, uh, no, dang it. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm making this too complicated right now. All right. Okay. <laughs> Y'all will see exactly why I'm making this too complicated right now. Hang tight. <laughs> Hang tight. We got this. Put that there. Come over here. Go all the way back here. Go back here. <laughs> Go back in here. Get the last of the kerosene. Goosh. Come on. <laughs> yes. You refilled your canteen with kerosene. There's only a little bit left. Oh, okay. Cool. So there's more that you can get. So now we've got more ink ribbon. Yes. Awesome. Now, now we go back out. <laughs> this is good. This is good. We go this way. Back to the save room. Ah, yes. Zombie's gone. Perfect. So now I have an absolute clear path to get this and save 
our team. Old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use the increment. Yes. Loading content. Uh, I'm going to do it back over six because I'm not going to go back to that save point. Cool. Save successful. Perfect. So now to clear up my space, let's go ahead and drop this off into there. I've got these, the two keys, canteen, and we're going to get the serum on our way back unless I can just grab it right here. Hmm, okay. Nope. <laughs> okay, I think we can make it now. I think we can save our friends. So back up top. <laughs> Flippity floppity, back around. All of the zombies are gone from here. Go out this door. Okay, so I need to memorize the path back outward. It's it's not a it's not a complicated path, but the way this game kind of turns you around and just it's really just the perspective change. It is pretty funky sometimes, and I get a little bit lost in my own head of like what direction I'm facing and where I should be going. But as you continue to play through this and understand the mansion more, it does make it a lot easier. But still, still difficult at times. Okay. We've made it back. Finally, we can do this. I saved it, so that's good. So over here, to the right, you use the armor key. Okay, now let's enter, get through the cutscene, and then now we're gonna leave and run for it. Okay, there we go. I can skip the cutscene, since we've already seen it. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> and now, we run! Running time. Sprinty time. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Let's go, Chris Redfield! <laughs> Alright, super speedy boy. On his way. Through the double doors. Shouldn't be any other things in our path. Shouldn't be anything blocking us from getting this serum. Mm, except for my own stupidity! <laughs> The furthest one? Yes, yeah, the furthest one. <laughs> okay. I wonder how much time you actually have to get it. Because there's no timer. There's no timer. I don't understand. Okay. Down. Down. Around. This way. This way. This way. Down the stairs. Come on, Chris. Let's go. Mr. Redfield, you've got this. Over around this way. Go through the door. Record speed. Record speed. <laughs> We're doing a full Resident Evil speedrun here. Obviously. Okay, no need... Yes, yes. To bask in the beautiful save room music. No need at all. We're just moving forward. <laughs> getting the serum back. Okay. I'm hoping that there's going to be a very huge reward for actually getting this done. Uh, that's the best thing I can hope for. Is like maybe he's going to give us 50 rounds of handgun. Or like some crazy amount of shotgun ammo. If he gives us a full-fledged shotgun, I'm going to be really upset because I just wasted the uh, shotgun, the, 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 the rusty key on the shotgun. So we'll see what happens there. <laughs> okay, through the doors, through the double door. All right, I really hope we can save him in time. Otherwise, I may have been doing this for absolutely nothing if there's no way to save him. That's, that's a potential. <laughs> It obviously gave us some type of reference point and messaging relating the fact that we had the opportunity to save him. Go in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Chris, you got this. Oh. <laughs> Hope this is what you wanted. Finally. I'm going to give you a shot now, Richard. Richard. Hang okay. in there. Richard, you're welcome. You're very welcome right now. Here, take it. What is it? It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. Richard. He died either way. He's okay. Oh, He's okay. Just unconscious. <laughs> Rebecca, it's not safe here. Yeah, it is Rebecca. Okay. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. Oh, that was good. Richard's doing well, Chris. Oh, we're back he here. Recover soon. Good. 
<clears throat> Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with a gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Oh, she's very familiar with a gun. Okay. Okay, then. We, we don't did it. <laughs> okay, awesome. Achievement unlocked. Delaying the inevitable. <gasps> the inevitable. How dare you say that about Richard? Okay, awesome. We've made it through. And it put us right back here. So, now I can grab the shotgun. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's on the first floor. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I don't know what I should leave behind. Oh, hi! This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? Oh! S sure! Yeah, would you? It's just an infinite healing room? That's pretty cool. Rebecca has treated your wounds. Oh, amazing! Thanks. Oh. Somebody sure knows how to get a deal. Most of the medical supplies here are from Umbrella. Umbrella? Don't you know? They're only the biggest taxpayers around here. They make most of these medicines right here. Homegrown in Raccoon City. But there's not much left, so take care of yourself. Not much left? <laughs> Alright, let's get this done now. Um... I'm gonna put down the mansion key for now. No! Mm. Grab the broken shotgun. <laughs> there we go. Because I need to pick up the shotgun first, and that takes up a slot. And then I need to put the broken shotgun down. So I need those two slots available. Okay, now we go. Now we can. No. Now we can get the shotgun. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Where are we at the map? I'm not even gonna bother. I'm not even gonna bother looking at any of these other rooms yet. I just wanna take care of one thing at a time. I'm not even gonna use the shotgun right now, but just having it in my inventory, in my item box, that's gonna be really helpful. So I don't have to focus on any of this ever again. So the, the really the main focus that I'm doing right now is prepping myself so that if I do end up coming into like a big battle or a big fight, which we've been going for a pretty decent amount of time now, as we're, we're I guess, in a pretty good amount of parts of the series. Um, we haven't really fought a quote unquote boss yet, which is rather surprising, to be honest. Ooh, I do love, oh, helmet, sorry, double doors. Uh, I think there's an aggro zombie in here, but it's blocked by a cabinet. Uh, so I just need to basically run through this area. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Why? Why not? Why not? This is probably the best, best time to do this. fire. I don't know if I should be conserving this more often, but I find that this is very helpful for a lot of these scenarios. Like, I could have ignored him, definitely. Also, I still don't know how to get that yet. Unless I can move this somehow, and then stand on top of it? Oh, actually... Yeah, if I move it like halfway, I can get behind it. Yeah! Oh, okay. Well, look at me go. 
<laughs> Should I grab this? Uh, no, I'll, I'll wait. I, I know I can do it. <laughs> one thing at a time, Jacob. One thing at a time. <laughs> I need to get the shotgun. All right, what's the fastest way? Just straight ahead, straight ahead. I'm probably gonna run into some big zombos. Was I missing? Did I not save by the time I grabbed this stuff? Let's take a look, let's take a look. Oh, spooky. No, I think I got everything around here, okay. Good, good, good. Let's move this one just in case. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, yeah, okay. Got everything in this hall. That's good. I think the room would have been red. Uh, anyway. All right, I gotta worry about potential zombies in here. One thing I'm still really bummed out about from my last video is that I just absolutely and completely, completely wasted my ammo on the ravens. Okay, other side of this wall. Normal zombie, nothing too crazy. Okay, you can't shoot the heads like that, it's fine. Still alive. zombies out there. Okay, a lot of zombies. I don't know if I have enough ammo for this. Oh my! Okay. Ignoring every single one. <laughs> it's too many! It's too many of you. Get out of here. I'm here for one thing and one thing only. And that is the advanced shotgun. Give it to me. this and then use this yes 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 perfect so now got that and then room is cleared out perfect 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 that's what I want to see that's what I want in my life it's a fully cleared out room so now I can go back to that typewriter item box. It's difficult. This is difficult because if I go through, I can't go back out without potentially breaking the door. So then I have to go back up and around, which which actually isn't bad. It's kind of where I, I'd like to be because there's a lot more rooms, but I do eventually need to come back down, grab a few items from there. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna ignore. I'm gonna ignore everything else that's in that whole area. Because the only other thing that I need to access in that whole section is an outside balcony now. Yeah, it's just an outside balcony. And let's see, can I... Oh! Oh my gosh. Very cool. Let's open it. Sure, let's just open it up. <laughs> Zombie scared me. <laughs> oh, I didn't, did he grab the other key? <laughs> Ravens? Oh, there's one. Wait, where am I? Oh no. This feels like a ch huge trap. This is where I just came from. The title is written as follows. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. 
That seems pretty cryptic. Picture of a Valiant wearing a bracelet. It's set in yellow stained glass. There's a switch here. Press it? No. Oh, okay. So the title's written as follows. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. Of a sage wearing a necklace. It's set in red. No. Please don't attack me. <laughs> of a saint wearing a crown. It's set in yellow. No. I've made this mistake before. I'm not going to make it again. Picture of a saint wearing a crown. Set in yellow stained glass. No. Sage wearing a necklace. Set in red. No. Oh my gosh, look at all the grows. And of a valiant wearing a bracelet. Set in yellow. No. Then what does this one have to say? Lisa, protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture. Press it? No. Ooh. Okay. So this is this will be an interesting puzzle to kind of figure out. Um I feel like I don't want to do it until I have a more recent save. That way I'm not having to backtrack a lot. Because I, I have a feeling if I mess it up at all, it will... Ouchie. It will lead to... Bad situation. Where did the zombie go? That's weird. Yeah, I have a feeling it'll lead to a bad scenario where all of those ravens are going to attack me. And either I'm going to get very low on my health. Or I'm just going to be absolutely wasting every single bullet that I currently own. So, bad scenario either way. Let's get in here. Let's open this up. I'm still not going to save at this point. I'm going to drop this off again for now. Take out the mansion key. I don't know if I still need it, but I think there's a couple sections... Actually, yeah, let's refill it. Not a single drop remains. Okay. Okay, good. So we've completely used that up, which is which is nice. Good to know. Sweet. So now we can explore. We have all of the keys that are currently accessible to us. We have no zombies in this current path. And now let me check my map to see what else I can explore. Hmm. So the... Let me revisit over here again real quick. Ah, yes. So the the door in there is going to need another old key, which I don't have access to. But there should be more stuff I can kind of have a look at up here in the upper area. And then there was another near the elevator in the main central zone. That was a whole other section that I did not get access to. I just didn't even realize I could have unlocked it and gone in there. That's another puzzle in there. Screw you, dude. Ooh, you knocked him down. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Get in there. Get in there. <sighs> okay. I never expected to see zombies just come stumbling through the doors like that. That is very not cool. <laughs> okay, so now we can go in here since we've taken care of this whole task, which is good. So let's see what's new beyond this area. Check the map. Okay, so we have straight ahead. It's locked. A moon of a shield. Okay. Where's zombie? Okay, that was perfect. <laughs> nice. Let's combine. I got. I gotta conserve a bit more. Okay, so this is probably where my guy got bit by a giant snake, right? It only makes sense. So should I have a shotgun here? 
Oh, yeah, this might not be the best decision I've made <laughs> without doing the save. Okay, nothing immediately in here. Yes, please. Okay, that's good. This is a little suspicious. Let's go, there's a side room that appears. Can't interact with any of this. Can't interact with the table. It's too dark to see much of anything. Okay, I'm assuming I can move this thing then. Oh yeah, let's push it. Cool. Secrets. <sighs> Don't use it. So that's what that does. Wish I'd known that sooner. What's here? Is too dark to see much of anything? What am I looking at? What was the... Do I need to turn on a light? Wait, what's the point of being in here? This, I mean, this looks like something I can grab or interact with, but it's not letting me. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Can I please grab it? Huh. Um, it's such an odd angle too, I, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. Well, darn, that's a waste of my stuff. Oh, you know what? Yep, I knew it. There we go. There we go. Is that enough light? Ah, uh, we you take the musical score, yes. Shells are lined with wine glasses, okay. Cool, all right, good. Oh, <laughs> what? Shotgun shells. Oh, I'll definitely take that here in a second. Since I get a chance to drop some stuff off. Okay, cool. Um, well then, so let's go back, <laughs> let's go back out. I have too much stuff that's on my person. Too much stuff is on my person right now. It's fine though, it's fine. Oh, there's something else I didn't, oh, is the herb. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot to do, everybody, there's a lot to do. So, I think the plan of action right now is to maybe drop off that musical score because I have not even had any need for it yet. Or do I keep exploring with zero inventory space? That sounds like the worst decision of all of these. So let's just go back. I'm gonna drop off the musical score. At a certain point, I don't think I'm gonna need the general mansion key anymore. Honestly, that's why I'm kind of going through and making sure I have everything unlocked and opened. Not you again. Can I use it right now? Oh, I can't. Oh. Oh. So you can potentially do that before they even get a chance to get up. <gasps> Ooh. So that's a good strategy. So you don't waste a ton of ammo as well. Nice. Okay. Sorry, I'm having to reference so many different areas. Okay, so we can go back in here, go downstairs. 
drop off just the music sheet. I'm not gonna grab the shotgun ammo yet, because I do wanna explore more to see if I need any other key items that are just floating around. That's the strat, that's the current strat. We've started this episode, and I made sure to reference in the last episode that I really wanted to go through and see how many doors I can open with this new key. That is the, still the main intention. So even though this episode is gonna be a little bit over an hour today, um, I think it's gonna be well worth it just because we are making some moves. Making them moves. Uh, is this the point at which I try to save just in case? I mean, I have gotten through quite a bit more since we did save our friend. I have plenty of ink ribbon, so why the heck not? Uh, oh, that's not what I was trying to do. There we go, old typewriter, you can see your progress. Use it, yes please. Um, we can write over six, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, why not? Sure. Okay, yeah, because I think we've had a, a pretty good run up to this point. Maybe got hit a couple times, but other than that, we're, we're doing totally good. Okay, <laughs> back out into the mansion. More splorin'. Gagoosh. Man, I really wish I'd known about those super zombies a lot sooner. Because that definitely creates a completely different dynamic in this game. <laughs> it's a little unfortunate. <laughs> but you know what? You learn. You learn as you go through and try out a new game. And you know what to do for the next time around. Okay, again, I don't need to grab that shotgun ammo. Yet. We know it's in there. Hopefully I'll remember that it's in there. I at least will know that there's a red uh, door like that down there. Okay. So what was the real major area that I wanted to go to right now? Yes. So let's check out things like these doors. Locked. Emblem of a helmet. Okay. It's fine. And then what was downstairs? I think this was a special key as well not any of the normal keys. Ah, octagonal indentations on the right and left of the door. Cool, so I need two pieces of the umbrella, just general thing here. Front door is a no-go, as always. And going back through here is not gonna be good. So this is where I wanna go. So let's go, was that this way? Yeah, so towards this door. This does not lead to the docks. <laughs> that would be a nightmare. Do have the gemstone on the floor. What was up with you again? When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open it. Okay. Oh, is that referring to this painting? Sure, two knights striking each other. Short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while long sword has pierced the head of the other. Oh, that might be helpful for the clue. Oh, I totally forgot about this too. Still have to do something with that. Okay, going in here. Oh gosh, we might run into some of the big zombies. Okay, I want to make a right. Is it this way? Locked from the other side, okay. This one now, use the armor key. Let's go down here first. So this will likely lead to like an underground facility, similar to how Resident Evil Zero was. Um, and then I think I unlocked this basement door in some capacity. Yeah, use the mansion key. There's no further use for this key. <gasps> oh, oh, okay. That's really, really nice that the game does that. Perfect. Okay, so this is supposed to be earlier game that you're supposed to go into then, since this is the just straight up mansion key. There might be a boss in here then. Oh, there's definitely some type of weird bugs in here. It's roaches on the floor. This is gonna turn into to something really bad. Okay, two locked doors in here. Shiny. Ooh, ammo. Okay. 
I know Resident Evil, something's gonna pop out of one of these doors. Hi. I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn you right off the bat. <laughs> so yeah, see you later. I don't need any of this. Dagger? Yep. So long. Farewell. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. Yes. Magazine. Handgun magazine. Beautiful. Beautifully done. And what is this? Oh! Yes! Old key. Perfect. Locked from the other side. Okay. Alright. And then this is cleared out now. So then what's back over here? It's probably no good, whatever this is. Oh, I don't have any more charges for that. Power doesn't seem to be turned on. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Good to know. A piece of meat from an unidentified source. I want to inspect this. The dishes are crawling with maggots. Deep fryer? The dishes are crawling with maggots, still. Piece of meat from an unidentified source. Bunch of spices you've never seen before. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, cool. Oh, awesome. I'm glad I came in here. Oh, crap. Oh, do I need a shotgun? I'm glad I saved it. Glad I saved it. <laughs> What is this? Um, Chris? Oh, it's just a normal zombie. <laughs> that was a very dramatic game. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Come over here, please. That was incredibly dramatic. <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> you can stay in here. That's fine. I don't need to fight you right now. Okay, perfect. Oh, simple. Simple enough. Okay. I'm still very, very pleased about the mansion key thing. As soon as you've unlocked every single door, you don't need to keep it anymore. So you don't actually have to personally keep track. Alright, if we unlock this, let's go inside of here. See what's up with this area. Fancy door. I like it so far. Maybe it'll be a study. Kind of looks like one, to be honest. And this is quite a big room, actually. Okay, do the test to see if there's anything immediately nearby. There's something written in the corner of the picture. Commemorating the completion of the mansion. Okay. <gasps> there's the piano. Okay. Cool. Is that uh, more ribbon? Wooden counter made of oak. Gives off a pleasant aroma like fine wine. Ah, I like that. Do I need to get behind there? Yeah, how do I get to the ink ribbon? Hmm. Nah, not yet. Expensive looking grand piano. Yeah, we know what to do with that then. Come over here. Yeah, go back here in this area. Maybe we can get some more alcohol based things. Wait, what am I? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I can't move around. This is odd. This is bizarre. Do I push it this way? Yes. Okay, what is this giant thing? Ah, oh, will you take the musical score? Yes! Right, let's examine that first. I, I feel like I need to combine that with the music sheet that I got. Music score. Hmm. A section of the music is missing, leaving only the beginning and the end of the music. Ah, okay. Cool. Well, I know exactly what to do with that then. Uh, I'm glad I picked that up rather than the save thing. No, I don't need to know about the oak countertop. No! Okay, it's cool. It's cool. Anything else I can do over here? No. All right, I still want to grab you. I really want to grab you. But I can't. All right. Done with this. Now, is there a save room? Uh, an item box nearby to where I am right now. That would be handy, but I don't think there is. Closest one is here. 
But when you go up and around, oh, actually, that's not too bad. That's not too bad to do. So let's let's just do it. I just don't know if there's any, gonna be any zombies in my way as I attempt to make it back over here. Uh, let's try it out. Oh, this is where I fought the, oh, friend. This is where I fought the ravens. So hopefully they're not here anymore. That would be a miracle. Let's see what happens. Okay, good, they're all gone. <laughs> yeah, that was a nightmare. <laughs> I had to deal with them earlier. Uh, uh, God, no, Chris, you, can, you got this. Just go up the stairs. <laughs> Through here. Awesome. Open up the door. Open up that door. And now, make just a quick right. Right. And then we go into this door. This door. And then we can go downstairs. We can run into Rebecca yet again. Uh, also, I got a radio. It didn't stay in my inventory, which I guess is a good thing. Um, I don't know what that radio is going to do for me, though. I didn't see it immediately pop up for myself. But into here we go. Let's grab the music sheet. Drop off that extra key. Uh, that key needs to go into a completely different section. Oh, hi. Are you okay? Yeah. You want me to treat your wounds? Nah. Not, not right now, I guess. Why don't we wait till it's like danger zone? Okay. Replace that with that. Exit. Bring up inventory. Let's combine with you. Awesome. Examine. Check it out. Is there anything special with this, though? The complete musical score of the Moonlight Sonata. Ah, love it. Okay. So that's good there. Uh, I can go refill this since I'm over here as well. Exit the status screen, and is there anything else that I want to grab from here, or do I want to keep my inventory open for the moment? I think I want to keep it open. So I don't really need Healy Heals. I could take the old key with me, but I think that's just needed on the complete opposite side. So, on we go. Continue the movement. Continue to explore this mansion. Let's go back here. Should be able to refill this canteen of ours. I hope you all are enjoying the pacing of this game. Uh, I feel like it's a very specific audience that would come uh, for this game specifically. And, oh yeah, only give me one. Okay, I was like, did I do it right? <laughs> Okay, got it. I feel like it's a very specific audience that came for this game that enjoys this retro horror style and kind of everything that comes with this. So hopefully it's been... This led to outside, didn't it? Like a strange outside area? There might be a dog out here. If there is, I'm going to walk back immediately. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. This is a whole nother area too. Oh, and I can open up the door from the other side. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's super nice. Oh, I'm actually really glad I came over here then. Flash grenade, yes. So which way then needs to escape? So if I just run straight down the corridor, I can open up this door. Ooh, I don't trust that though. Okay, what's over here first? Ooh, I don't trust any of this. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, lame. Oh, I don't trust this at all. Oh, no, no, no. I see that shadow. <laughs> Someone is right there in the window. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Not going that way. Not yet. What was over there anyway? A single door that I can't get into yet. Okay. Something's gonna jump out at me here. I know it. Okay. 
Making me nervous. Ooh, dagger. Yes. Okay. Before I worry about any of this, let's just go drop off the music sheet. One piece at a time. One thing at a time today. <laughs> This is why I take so long with these kinds of games, because I just want to keep exploring absolutely everything. What, would you all consider Resident Evil, in at least some regard, a, uh, a Metroidvania? Because you're exploring areas, and you have to revisit. Me, Chris. <laughs> Rebecca. Rebecca's back. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. That did not sound like Moonlight. Moonlight Sonata. Can that does play? not sound like any type of Chopin. Chopin that I know. Wait, no. Is that not? Sh I don't think that's Chopin. No, is that? Yeah, I think that's Chopin. Oh, she's uh. She's getting it. Oh, cool. <laughs> what was that? My interpretation is awful. That was pretty good. Let me practice for a while. Let Rebecca practice? Yes. Sure. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I won't. That was funny. That was funny. I like that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. I really like that. Oh, Rebecca, she's learning how to play piano. She is struggling though. <laughs> okay, that was that was a good moment. That was a really good moment. I like that. Perfect. So now let's go back over here. Now we can go into this again. And now that I've taken care of that, I've got two extra inventory spaces. Let's go into the other rooms. See what all of these are all about. Hopefully, something cool. Uh, let's take care of this room first. Seems like it'll be the smaller of them. Might be zombies. Who knows? Get ready to get ready to rock and roll in here. Okay, small bedroom. Ooh, the shelf is full of high-proof liquor. Hi, friend. Do I light you on fire? I feel like I should light you on fire. I only got one Bernie burn left though. <laughs> Excuse me. Keeper's Diary, May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. The tenth. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw it when I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. May eleventh. Around five AM, Scott woke me up. Scared the, scared the crap out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. He said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. Basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those guys in research never sleep, even on a holiday. May 12th. I've been wearing the darn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The gosh darn dogs have got uh, been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. May 13th. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. May 14th. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. 
the hell's happening to me? May 19th. Fever gone, but itchy. Today, hungry and eat doggy food. May 21st. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face. So killed him. Tasty. Or itchy, tasty. Something's gonna attack. Clothes and various bits of junk are scattered everywhere. <laughs> this is a mistake. <laughs> oh, the other guy woke up too. Crap. No! Gosh dang it, stab him! Okay. Don't come in there ever again. <laughs> Itchy, hungry. <laughs> okay, so from what we know, though, these guys can escape out of <laughs> the doors. So I gotta be careful. There might be something big in here as well. Let's see. Oh, this is a tiny little room. I always do the wrong button. Oh, it is a very tiny room. There's an inscription here. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Ah, those must be the gemstones that I need to get. So we already have the blue one. It's currently sitting on the floor in the main hall, dining area that we started the game in. What is making that noise? It's bizarre. You can hear Rebecca playing the piano just slightly in the background. Okay, this zombie's gonna break out. Really? Oh! It's him knocking on the window. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. So they're gonna bust through then at some point. Check the map. Uh, and there's... One door or two? One door. Okay, let's check it out, I guess. <laughs> this makes me nervous, going through all of these. Anytime I'm in a new area, I'm just like, mm. Okay, there's something over here. The lid on the water pump is open. Pump the water? No, not yet. Something I need to shoot? Oh! Weird. Excuse me? <laughs> what? Um. Excuse me. <laughs> what is this? Yes? Leave. No, I, I don't trust this. Not one bit. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave you be. I'm gonna leave you be. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Okay. <laughs> All right, we can go out here. So this is very convenient now that I have access to get through all of these areas. So what I wanna do now is run back this way, this way. Get into here. I'm gonna grab that blue gem. Uh, see if I can just put it in the tiger's eye right now. Just make it super quick and easy. I think this is where I need to be. Yep. Cool. Open this one up. Should be nice. This is this is progressing very well. Very well, I think. Y you all may not think so, but I think it might. It actually is. <laughs> Oh, did I not knock it down after this last save? I don't think I did. <laughs> oh man, I, got, I keep forgetting to do all the things. <laughs> okay, upstairs, nice and quick. Come on, Chris, we got this. Me and you, buddy, me and you. 
through here, through the double doors? Double doors? Yeah, double doors. Okay. See, I'm, af I'm afraid to kind of do a lot of these things. Like, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm afraid to wait to do a lot of these things. Because we already know a lot of the maps evolve. And, like, the longer you're in them, the more difficult things become. Typically. Typically. Okay. That one's taken care of. That's fallen down on the floor. Now, I want to see if I can go and grab... <sighs> do I just take care of the tiger real quick? I'm <laughs> so indecisive with what to do next in this game. Um, how's my inventory? That's not my inventory. How's my inventory? Okay, I got one slot left. Let me just grab this. I can always go back into that room. Because I want to try to move the cabinet so I can go up and grab whatever's in the bowl that the lady is holding. Because we know that that is a function that we're able to do now. Okay. Blue gem. Yes, please. Okay, let's go back to the tiger now. Still need to grab that at some point. Can't forget. Oh, sorry, I'm itching my nose so much. I have like a cut right here where the crease of my nose is. It's very, it's very itchy. It's been, it's been very hot and very dry where I live here recently. So I've been getting all dried out. Not great. All right, this is the right way, right? Yes. Cool. Back into here. Now let's see if I can put this in the tiger. <laughs> so much to do. So much to see. So much wrong with taking the back streets. Blue and yellow. Yep. Hey, hey. Perfect. Oh. Oh. Oh, very cool. I take. Ah. Oh, I like that. Yellow and blue eyes. Oh, very cool. Okay. Oh, sweet. I like that. I really like that. They're going to bust through at some point. I know it. Map. Let's go to the typewriter item box. Open this up. Drop off now two items. Shotgun shells and the old rusted key. I know I'm gonna need to return to the other area that has the rusted key lock. And I have two of them now, right? Two of those uh, rusted keys, old keys. Hello. Oh, Rebecca's not here anymore. Oh no. Oh, I guess that's the downfall of leaving, uh, letting her go practice. Gotcha, okay. I guess that makes sense now. So let's see on the map. So the other room, oh, why is that one red now? Did they give us more items? They may have. Um, I think second floor is where I need to look. Yeah, okay. So I can't recall, I think it's either Oh gosh, where am I right now? Okay, I'm right here. Let me go upstairs. I could potentially try out. Oh, I never tried over here. There's still so much more to explore. There's so much to explore. Okay. I'm gonna do one thing and one thing only right now. So hang tight. I got one thing to test, which will lead me. No will lead me this way and then this way wait what about this nothing but cleaning products smells faintly unpleasant hmm, good to know was there a drop left in this one or is this one completely empty too there might be a drop left in this one let's see let's see not a single drop. Okay, it's fine. Back out. 
<laughs> Alright, a lot of back and forth. A lot of memorization in this game. Into here. I'm actually real excited just to kind of see where this story goes. So that I can finally jump into the Resident Evil 2 remake. Uh, that that I, I've personally never played for myself. So that's that's going to be kind of the next major thing that comes up after, after this game. Uh, in my playthrough of these Resident Evil series. Since I've already played three on my channel, um, seven and eight, and now zero and one, we're gonna get a chance to play Resident Evil 2. And then, at some point, f uh, four, five, and six. Which, that'll be an interesting thing to go through. Still unsure if I want to... Four, I'll definitely play on the channel, but five and six, we'll see how those goes, go, because those are notoriously uh, not everyone's favorite uh, Resident Evil games to play. Helmet, that's right. So yeah, I still need to find out where the helmet key is, of all things. Open this. This is where the, uh, the bucket thing should be. So how do we climb on top? No. Okay, I didn't mean to push it like that. Can I squeeze through? Nope, not quite. About now, not quite. Yep. Okay, let's see if this works. A little bit more this way. And then this way. <gasps> yes! There's a map of Mansion First Floor, take it, yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I could have grabbed that so much earlier. That's all it was. That's all it was. And I've already explored almost all of this. Oh no. Wait, how did you get that then? You got the map of Mansion First Floor. Fantastic. So does that mean there's a secret entrance over here? An eerie picture of the mansion. Not necessary to use. Is there anything I left behind here? No, nothing else. Various art supplies. Hmm. Yeah, how do you get to this then? So that's a very specific little section. Unless once you get into here, and then you open up this door, a secret path will appear? But I've never seen that before. And it's not like this, where there's nothing here. There is a, a slight little opening for where a door could be. Huh. And then this, we've already gone there. I just haven't gone back out into that section in a while. So first floor, we have the whole map. Second floor, we have the whole map. Um, I think I need to reopen this. I need to check out that. Still a lot to do, surprisingly. Hmm. Yeah, no way to break through. Maybe that'll open up at just a random point during the game. Okay, well, I'm glad I finally got that. Finally figured out what that was. That was a long time coming of needing to figure that out. Good to know you can go back backwards with that and check it out. Okay, let's go up. Really, the main thing I want to happen now, before I start solving a lot of these just different puzzles, is I want to be able to have my key go away. The one, my new key, since it's like not something I need. Yeah, use the armor key. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh! Okay. This is amazing. This is amazing. Okay, perfect. This leads to a whole nother balcony area, which means there's probably gonna be dogs. I haven't saved in a while. Let's just take a quick glance. 
hope it's not anything major. A little nervous here. Something's definitely gonna pop out. Yes, please. Okay, got a lot more handgun now, which is awesome. Is that a zombie over there? Looks like it might be. Ooh, this is going straight to a dead end. I don't know if I trust this. I don't have any healing items. How's my health? I'm in yellow caution. I could die right now and lose all my progress. I see what looks like a foot. Let's be really cautious on this one. There's nothing that we can focus on with our fire. Yet. Foliage plant. Someone was using the bench in place of a stand. Friend. Oh. Some type of an army tat? Oh no. It's Forrest from the Bravo team. There are deep wounds all over his body. Oh. What could have torn him up like this? Oh no. Oh no, this was a mistake to come here. Force has given up the ghost. Looks like he's been dead for a while. Ooh, I don't know if it's worth it going up here. That's it? Just two green herbs? Oh, dagger. Thank you. <laughs> Barely saw that. I'm here. Let's grab him. I've got plenty of open. <gasps> oh, dang it. <laughs> Why did I do that? Crap. This was a mistake. <laughs> oh, mistake! Mistake! <sighs> I'm sorry. It's not necessary to use it now. Okay. Bleeding out. You sure I can't use it? Okay, I guess they don't want you burning your own, uh, <laughs> lost teammates. Okay, I don't know if that was worth me taking all my <laughs> ammo there. Oh, what, it was like 10 shots? It's not too bad. I just picked up some ammo recently-ish. Also didn't get hurt, which is nice. <laughs> Surprised about that, actually. One green herby and two green herby. And there shouldn't be anything else out here, right? Yep, all taken care of. Perfect. So don't ever have to come back to this balcony ever again, which is cool. It's actually very nice. Oh, hey, heat. <laughs> Hopefully I don't run into anything else as we're coming back. No. Okay. All right, that wasn't as terrible as I thought it might have been. So that's good. Perfect. So really now, all that we need to do at this stage is, uh, I guess just solve some extra puzzles. Cause let's, let's look at the map from the first floor. Um, this is the only place I haven't gone to technically. Um, and that's just because I went there, there was a dog outside and there's a, a strange type of locked section. Um, and then I died and obviously didn't go re-explore it at a later point. 
Um, this is locked with the helmet key, which I need. This one is locked with the umbrella emblems, multiple emblems. Um, and then this will lead to potentially another secret. That's a puzzle. Go to the second floor. Um, you know, I haven't re-explored to see if I can open these yet. And I need to go back and check out that. Uh, I've got the broken key that I can go to check out that. And then this also, I think, needed the helmet. And this also needed a helmet of some kind. So we got those. Third floor. Oh, you know what? I can check out that as well. And then the basement. I don't know what the basement needed. But I think we're in a good spot here. We made a lot of progress on this episode, which honestly I'm really proud of proud about. It's it's hard to to make some good progression in some of these older games like this. Whether it be from just my own kind of little faults of trying to get through, uh, or just not being as familiar with these older game styles, or just having simple mistakes, but yes, please take the emblem. But yeah, I think this has been a really, really good progression so far in this. I love Rebecca just playing in the background. It's so good. And I gotta check out the, now that shield emblem a bit more. Because I think there's something, something more to it that I'm just not not seeing. Uh, either you have to combine it and use it in that room with all the knights or something. Really not too sure. Or there's going to be an item I find that I combine with it, add it together, and it might do something else completely. But, let's go over here. Oh, you know what? I just realized I got the achievement delaying the inevitable. So does that mean he can potentially die and turn into a zombie in here? Sit next to him. See how he's doing. Ah, yes. <laughs> Take a nice hard look at him. <laughs> that, was, that was good. That was good. Okay, before I drop off all the things, let's examine this one more time. There's nothing unusual. Nothing unusual. Nothing unusual. Nothing unusual. Gold all around the outer edges due to frequent fitting. So you gotta put it into something, obviously. Okay. Makes sense. Let's open this up. Let's drop off a bunch of goods. Put these above the rest. Put the health kind of in the general same area. Let's put the key items down to here. And I do want to take out an old key. Oh, I can't just put in one, huh? Hmm. It's kind of a bummer. Let's take out the ink ribbon so I can save. I need to grab some more ink ribbons out of these rooms as well. Um, at a certain point, I might be able to start carrying around the shotgun too. But I definitely want to do that uh, as we start this next episode. And yeah, I think we're going to be good from here. So let's save it up. Old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use it. Absolutely. And I'll save over number six. Cool. Fantastic. Well, great. Well, again, thank you all so much, so, so very much for coming out for another episode of Resident Evil. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you absolutely smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear your thoughts, feelings, or if you just want to say hi. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification so that we know exactly when I'm uploading videos. And as always, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.